The Lord's going to come around and play an instrumental, and uh, he's going to tell you something before he plays the instrumental. But it's so good to be with all of our friends here at the uh, Singing in the Smokies, and uh, uh, the inspiration is they've uh, been friends of ours for a long, long time. Oh, yeah, boy, they live up here in the mountains, don't they? I've never seen such crooked roads in my life. That bus is sitting out yonder with two dead batteries in it. The roads were so crooked that I blowed my horn at my own tail light so long that I run the batteries down in the bus. Had a little funny thing that happened one way. It wasn't exactly funny. I backed the bus back a while ago under our shed there at home. We live in a little old town called Lincolnton, Georgia. And I run over my sister, Miggy. My sister, Miggy, got this little chihuahua dog. And I run over him and made him flat. She come out there. She said, is he dead? I said, yeah, he's flat. She said, I don't want to take your word. You're not a doctor. We took him down to the veterinary, and she took that flat dog in there. She said, I want you to tell me is my dog dead. He looks. He said, he's flat. I'm sure he's dead. She said, I don't want to hear that. you got all kind of ways. Can you really tell me if he's really dead or not? He said, yeah, I have got a way. He reached down on the ground, and an old cat walked by. He got that old tomcat by the tail and drug him all around that dog there. No response at all there. She, he said, ma'am, your dog is, your, your dog is dead. Yeah, there. Said, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, listen here. Do I owe you anything? He said, yeah, you owe me $150. Said, my goodness, $150 tell me my dog was dead? He said, no, you paying for the cat scan. We live in a little town down in Georgia called Lincolnton, Georgia. And we go to a church called Hepzibah Baptist Church. We had something happen a few weeks ago. We got this little old preacher. He's so thin he can stand sideways, lick out his tongue, and go as a zipper. And he's got this little old voice that gets on your nerves bad, and he repeats the same thing over and over. He got on this subject. If you think somebody's going to hurt you, think somebody's going to harm you, always remember the scripture, Acts 2.38, and repeat it over and over and over and over again. It could save your life all the way through his sermon. Now, don't forget, the scripture could save your life. It's Acts 2.38. Don't you forget it. Say it over and over and over. After everybody left the church there, it was just ringing in their ears there. Well, anyhow, this old lady, she went out to the hospital, and she got out of her car, and she looked over there and there's a car load of old bad boys stealing old women's pocketbooks. She saw them when they pointed her out. One got to come into her and she said, now listen now, what was that scripture? He said, Acts 2.38 and repeated over and over again. She looked like Esther on Sanford and Son. She got into it. She said, Acts 2.38, Acts 2.38, Acts 2.38, Acts 2.38. He went, she went running off and that boy said, listen here, you didn't get her pocketbook. Said, no, that's a mean woman. She had an Acts in 2.38. Well, me and Lewis, is, we're going to play you. We're going to play you a song here called If a Bricklayer Can Lay Bricks, Why Come a Plumber Can't Lay Plums? <laughs> Martin Cook told me not to pay these people no attention. What if you had that in your house with you? Okay, here's a song we're going to do. That. We're going to do the best we can.
Lewis fan of today. Ooh.